everyone in this video we are going to see the next type of your average concept let's see the question one by one so here your question is the average of five consecutive number is 27 continuous number that is called as consecutive number then what is the highest number in that series your question is consecutive numbers we don't know that anyway consecutive number consecutive even number and consecutive odd number the average of this type of number is that middle term is your average value so we don't know here what are the numbers are there so we can consider the first number is x the second number is x plus 1 the third number is x plus 2 the fourth number is x plus 3 and the fifth number is x plus 4 while adding this five numbers we are getting sum divided by 5 the average value which is equal to 27 okay we'll move on to your question what is the what is the highest number in that series what we can do this 5 is coming here means it will be multiplied 7 5s are 35 so 5 reminder 3 5 2s are 10 10 plus 3 is 135 now 1 2 3 4 5 5 x plus 1 3 6 10 so 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 1 10 the 10 is coming here means 125, 125 which is 5x, 1 5s are 5, 2 5s are 10, 5 5s are 25, 25 was the first number. What is your second number? 26, what is your third number? 27, what is your fourth number? 28, what is your fifth number? 29. No need for this procedure and all. While seeing this questions, consecutive numbers or consecutive odd number or consecutive even number, we are middle term is your average value first term second term third term fourth term fifth term the third term is your average value what is the average value 27 and what is your next number 28 and what is your next number 29 so the highest number is 29 consecutive numbers having the difference 1 1 1 that's why i'm adding 1 1 so hence your highest number is option c is the correct answer no need for the regular calculations we have shortcut method like this we'll move on to your next question the average of 11 consecutive number is triple one then what is the second lowest number in that series first number second term third term fourth term fifth term sixth term seventh term eighth term ninth term tenth term eleventh term which one is middle term here 5 5 which one is your middle term here sixth term hence the middle term is your average value triple one so what is the lower second lowest number this is the consecutive number second lowest number while moving forward means it will highest value while coming backward means it is the lowest number 110 109 108 and 107 107 is your answer so option c is the correct answer we'll move on to your next question now your question is the average of five consecutive even number so even number having the difference two two difference first term for example two four six eight difference is two difference is two now the average of five consecutive even number is 36 we don't know first term second term third term fourth term fifth term no need for the regular calculations the middle term is always our average value what is the average value here 36 the 36 is the middle term of this five numbers so your question is what is the smallest number in that series now we can able to find out the numbers what is that the previous number is 34 what is your first number 32 this is the smallest number why i am subtracting 2 hence the consecutive even number and consecutive odd number is difference is 2 2 2 2 okay hence the lowest number is 32 your option is b we'll move on to your next question the average of 8 consecutive even number is 53 then what is the smallest number in that series example 101 103 105 this is the odd number what is the average of this number mid value so what is the mid value of 103 and 105 104 similarly 36 38 
40, 42. What is the average of this numbers? What is the mid value of this number? 38 and 40, 39. 39 is your, your average value. Okay. Similar to here, average of 8 consecutive even numbers are there. So, we don't know first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eighth term. Okay. Now, this 4 and this 4. The mid value is 4 and 5. What is the mid value? 53. Hence, fourth term is 52. Fifth term is 54. Am I right? The third term is 52. And the second term is 50. And the first term is 48. While subtracting 2, 2 means the lowest value. We are getting the lowest value in the series. After that, what is the smallest number in that series? What is your smallest number here? 48. Hence, your option is B. So, consecutive even number or consecutive odd number, the middle term is your average value. Don't do your regular calculations. If you are doing like this, means it's taking too much of time. Okay, while using this type of shortcuts, we can be able to get the answer within one minute. Now, your next question is, the average of 7 consecutive odd number is 77. Here, what are the numbers? Odd numbers. Suddenly, you don't think first number x and the second number is x plus 1 and the third number is x plus 3. It is wrong. Odd number or even number, the difference is always 2, 2. Example, 1, 3, 5. 2, 4, 6. What is the difference here? 2. 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 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. So, 7 consecutive first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. What is your mid term here? Fourth term. Fourth term answer is 77. Now, your question is, Find the difference between the smallest number and highest number in that series. We must find out the smallest number. And we must find out the largest number first of all. So, 77, 75, 73, 71. Now, this is the 79, 81, 83. This is the smallest number. This is the largest number. What is the difference between smallest and the largest number? 3 difference 1 is 2. 8 difference 7 is 1. So, 12 is your answer. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Okay. Now, your next question. The average of 10 consecutive odd number is 100. So, 10 consecutive odd numbers are there. The average value is 100. What is the difference between the smallest number and the highest number in that series? So, here first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eighth term, ninth term, tenth term. 6 to 10, 5 to 1. What is your mid term here? Between 5 and 6, the average value is 100. Hence, the fifth term is, what is your fifth term? Consecutive odd number 99. What is your sixth term? 101. So 99 and 101, the mid term is 100. Okay, for example, 301, 303, 305. Here, your average is 303. But 307. One more number is there. Consecutive odd number. Consecutive odd number. What is your mid term here? 303 and 305. What is your mid term here? 304. Similar concept is applicable here. So, your fourth term is 99 and third term is 97 and second term is 95 and the first term is 93. Now, your seventh term is 103. Eighth term is 105. 9th term is 107, 10th term is 109. Now your question is, what is the difference between smallest and highest number in that series? What is your smallest number here? 93. What is your highest number here? 109. 109 difference 93. 9 difference 3 is 6, 10 minus 9 is 1. Hence your answer is 16. So option A is the correct answer. This is the example of calculating the average for given consecutive numbers and consecutive odd numbers and consecutive even numbers. 
See, this type of numbers your middle term is your average value. Thank you for watching.